Hello guys, how are you? I'm Helen, I'm a beekeeper and I also work for the library. I would like to tell you about my favorite furry friend or friends, I have loads of them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the bee in the book and then I'm also going to show you a live honeybee. Actually, a whole little hive. Okay, let's start. Our bee's life began when the queen bee laid a pearly white egg the size of a pinhead. Oh, can you see them? They are so tiny. There we go. There is only one queen in every colony of bees. She lays 1,500 eggs a day, especially during the summertime or around now. So if you see the bees out gathering pollen, Best let them work away. In this picture here, you can see where most of these eggs will become worker bees, female bees. The rest will become male and they are called drones. Now the drones do, don't do as much work as the female bees. Their only job is really to mate with the queen. Okay, so our bee comes out of her egg as a larva, still all pearly and white. She stays in her cell, which is made by wax by the worker bees. Worker bees, worker bees are sometimes called nurse bees and they feed royal jelly to the larva. Royal jelly is a very powerful food for the honeybees. It contains packed with vitamins and proteins and really good minerals. Now, uh, a few days later then, they change it to a bee bread, which is the pollen and a smidgen of honey. In this picture, you can see the full cycle. Here is your egg, starting off, turning into lava. And then on day five, you can see here, right just there, the honeybees have capped the cell so that they stay nice and secure and warm and they've given them all their food. So from then on, they grow really fast. So about two weeks later, they have their eyes, their legs, their wings. And by the third week, they're fully developed. They're full worker bees. So it takes three weeks for a bee to grow in the cell. So the first thing she has to do when she's ready, she has to nibble her way out of the cell. Just nibble, nibble, nibble. And then she has to turn around, go back in and clean it out. A bit like you when you wake up first thing in the morning, you make your bed, you tidy your room. <laughs> the other important job that the honeybees do for us they gather the nectar, of course, and the worker bees turn it into honey. They gather the nectar from the flowers. Nectar is a sweet little bit of juice that comes from the flowers. So they suck it up with their straw, like they have a straw tongue, specially made for this. They also collect pollen because, as I said, my furry little friends, the pollen, which is like powder in the middle of the flower, attaches to the hair on their body. When they're flying back, they brush it all down with these two legs. They brush it down onto the back leg and they put it in their pollen basket. They have two pollen baskets at the back. You see, so they carry home the nectar, they turn into honey, they carry home the pollen and they turn that into bee bread. Two very important jobs. But also, because they're flying from flower to flower, they are bringing with them pollen from every flower and just spreading it all around. And this is how our flowers spread and grow. Not just our flowers, our fruit, our vegetables, a lot of our food come from the work that the bee does for us. So they're really important. Now, I want to show you, this is what honey looks like. This is pure honey out of my hive. Can just about see there. I think there's even some of it dripping down. I have to be very careful. Delicious honey. This here is a new mini hive. 
Okay, so it's just like a little box. This here is the front. You can just about see the front door that the bees go into. That's it just down there, yeah, in the corner. Oops, here we go, in and out there. This slides up and down. So if I want to bring them anywhere, I close them right down. They get the air through the ventilation here. And when I'm filling this, I slide this back and I put a cup full of bees in there with a queen bee. Okay, I'm going to show you inside. I'm taking off the roof. In here, I have three frames because as I said, it's a mini hive. Little frames, you see? One, two, three. In here is where they live, and in here is where I put the food. That can come out. I fill that with food because I have to feed them to get them started, particularly if it's during the winter time. Now, what I'm going to do next is take you out to my live hive.